Hey, hi, welcome back to the series of ISO 26262 Financial Safety Sessions. So, I am Tota Krishna Hema, your automotive expert. So, today we are going to discuss about system integration and testing uh, from part 4, class 7.4.3. Let us get into the details of this uh, in furthermore slides. The individual elements of the system shall be integrated in according to the in accordance with the system architecture type design and tested in accordance with the system integration test specification. So this is the ultimate goal of uh, this particular clause. System testing will carry out in three in in four aspects. So we need to ensure on the correct implementation. Uh, we need to ensure on correctness of functional performance, accuracy, and time of safety mechanisms. And third one is we need to ensure on the correct implementation of interfaces. And the fourth one is we need to ensure on robustness. So these, this entire testing uh, process will help us to ensure on um, the detection of systematic faults during system integration and testing. So this is about, uh, it, this slide is talking about to check correct implementation of uh, technical safety requirements at the system level. So it covers three different methods, requirement based testing, fault injection testing and back to back testing. So this is talking about correct functional performance, accuracy and timing of safety mechanisms at the system level. It is covering five different methods which is called back to back testing, fault injection testing, performance testing, error guessing testing and test derived from field experience. So this is called, this slide is carrying the information about consistent and correct implementation of external and internal interfaces at the system level. This is talking about four different methods. So test of external interfaces, test of internal interfaces, interface consistency test or interface consistency check or test of Inter in interaction or communication. So these four methods are described in this particular slide. So to ensure on robustness of at the system level, we need to conduct three different methods. We need to derive the test cases based on three different methods: resource usage test, stress test, and test for inter interference resistance and robustness under certain environmental conditions. So what is requirement based test? It is straightforward test like which is the test cases which are written based on based directly on the requirements. So uh, it follows the normal test cycle so whatever the testing we carry out uh, in our normal testing cycle so that is straightforward and it is based on the requirements so what about fault injection testing in fault injection testing we have two different methods of fault injection uh, so one method is compile time injection which is it it is a fault injection technique where source code is modified to inject simulated faults into the system. The second thing is runtime injection. Uh, it, makes, it makes use of software trigger to inject, trigger to inject a fault into the software system during runtime. The trigger can be two types, time-based triggers and interrupt-based triggers. So what about back to back comparison test? So the model and uh, this should have the, to test this particular particular uh, method basis. So we should have a model based development, uh, development in place. So the model and the code are simulated in a similar way and result is compared. For this test method, a model is required, as I said before, that can simulate the system being tested. 
Uh, what about interface testing? Interface testing here it is external interface testing, internal interface testing also. So interfaces of hardware with the software is very important and this this test ensures that interfaces are devoid of any errors. Interface testing is performed to evaluate whether systems or components pass data and control correctly to one another. It is to verify if all the interaction between these modules are worked properly and errors are handled properly. So during the interface testing, the value range of the incoming signals from the interfa in interface is defined and is divided in classes. These classes have boundary values which is used to determine used to define the test cases after the test cases are defined interface testing can be performed so interface testing checklist is to verify that the communication between the system elements are are done correctly verify if all the support uh, supported hardware or software has been tested verify if all link documents been sub be supported or opened on all platforms verify the security requirements or encryption while communication happens between systems check if a system uh, if the solution can handle network failures between website and the application server uh, what about error guessing error guessing is uh, nothing but experience based testing uh, so this is purely on the on the experience uh, experience based testing so the tester uh, will know like where is the error prone area in the entire system so there like he writes more number of test cases uh, to get uh, the error free system out of it out of the testing uh, so the guidelines for the error testing is like uh, where, where it is purely based on the experience and the historical data Resource usage testing is uh, about the consumption of the memory uh, to expose. This is conducted to, uh, to expose that the system being tested being uh, does not consume more or a lot of CPU memory. Uh, so this uh, in some test in some aspects of this test are performed during system testing. Uh, that is uh, that is uh, in terms of here hardware in loop testing. So what about performance testing? Performance testing is a non-functional testing uh, activity which is performed uh, to determine the parameters in terms of responsiveness and stability. So yeah, under the working load, so it is divided into furthermore divided into four different categories, load test, stress test, soak test, spike test. So load test is uh, nothing but uh, like the transactions, critical transactions, the communication. So the full total load, uh, the behavior is to observe the behavior of the system under load. Uh, what about stress test is like uh, we will test beyond the load capacity. So uh, till this extent, it is expected uh, to bear, the system is expected to bear the load. And if we test beyond that, we will increase and increase and increase and increase uh, the load till the system breaks or the system uh, crashes so that's when like uh, how the performance is like we will measure it out uh, compared to the, uh, when coming to the soak test soak test is like uh, it is it is nothing but endurance test so we will uh, we will check like uh, how the behavior of this particular um, particular system which is uh, um, under this particular load okay how uh, it is consuming the memory how it is communicating uh, how it is communicating with other systems so how what how the performance of it like is there any memory leaks is there any um, communication gaps so these kind of you know observations we will uh, we will do during this soak testing what about spike testing is we will apply a sudden surge or spike uh, to the system to observe its performance uh, like generally it uh, we will do it in unexpected load at once and we will normalize and again we will give a surge or spike in the load and the next testing is called stress test it is uh, as i said before like it is part of the performance testing only but uh, we will test the system uh, beyond the load capacity uh, so we will observe the system uh, systems performance in when 
ड्यूरिंग द फेल्यूर और अबाउट टू फेल्यूर और मोर देन द लोड कैपेसिटी सो हाउ हाउ इट इज बिहेविंग सो इज इट गिविंग एनी एरर एरर मेसेजेस सो बिफोर क्रैशिंग और वाइल क्रैशिंग इज इट सेविंग इन इंफॉर्मेशन इज इट like the system is sent sent all the data for the backup uh, like this is uh, the system is in a, is able to store its uh, information uh, till the point it crashes uh, so what about uh, uh, what happens to the system if an expected failure happens to it and the security is there any security issues is there any hindrance is there any impact on other systems when it crashes so these all things we will get to know when we do the stress test uh, so scenarios is uh, is like the monitor the system behavior when maximum number of users logged at the same time all users perform the critical operations at the same time all users accessing uh, the same file at the same time hardware issues such as database uh, server down or some of the servers in the server park crash so this is how like we will conduct the stress test so these are few of the scenarios sample scenarios which is given um so these are the scenarios which i have taken from tutorialpoint.com and uh, this entire content is borrowed from the iso 26262 standard and uh, i came to the end of this session so if you like uh, this session uh, click on the like button if you want for the more automotive concepts so subscribe to my channel Thank you.